Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Serena. Happy birthday to you. Hip, 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 hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Yay! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Serena's Vlog. So today I'm gonna be pulling an all nighter the night before my birthday because some of you or may know or may not know that my birthday is tomorrow, October the 7th. And I'm not just going to be pulling on all nighter, I'm also going to be celebrating my 24th birthday as well. So let's get started with the video. So guys, if you are going to be pulling on all nighter, then you have to have something that will keep you awake. For example, if you want to go shopping and buy something that will keep you awake, for example, like any sort of sugars like lollies or chocolates or cereal that has sugar in it, and you're going to also have a drink that will keep you awake. For example, a soft drink or an energy drink or even or an iced tea or even a chocolate milk. But I'm not really going to go shopping and buy the things that I will need to keep me awake all night because here in Melbourne, all of the shops are closed and it's curfew so the snacks I'm going to be making which is my personal favorite gingerbread cookies so the ingredients are is 125 grams of salted butter a third of a cup of brown sugar and a third of a cup of honey one egg two and a half cups of plain flour one tablespoon of ground ginger a quarter of a teaspoon of cloves one teaspoon of bicarb soda and a third of a cup of maple syrup so let's get started so what it says here on the method is you'll have to melt the butter which i've already done it says there on the book in a bowl you'll have to whisk the eggs and butter so i'm going to do a little cheat so i'm not going to put the butter sugar maple syrup honey and whisk the eggs i'm going to be doing a little cheat so i'm going to be placing the butter sugar honey and maple syrup in here and whisk this with an electric mixer if you have one. So let's get started with the ingredients. And the sugar, honey, and maple syrup. And whisk this on high to medium speed. Well, start with low speed first, and once everything is all combined, then you can go on a high speed. And so the next step you'll need is you'll need to whisk the eggs in next. Okie dokie. And whisk this on medium speed. The next step you have to sift in the flour spices and bicarb soda then mix all together and it should assemble a smooth dough then flatten and wrap and refrigerate for 30 to 40 minutes So, and this goes in the fridge for 30 to 40 minutes. So I'm going to be placing this in the fridge for at least 30 or 40 minutes and then I will be right back to cut this dough with the cookie cutters and place them in the oven. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. 
So while I am waiting for my dough in the fridge to be set, I'm gonna be making my second favorite snack, which is donut holes. So the ingredients that I have here is one and a quarter of a cup of plain flour right here, one teaspoon to half a teaspoon of baking powder, a third of a cup of sugar, one egg, 125 grams of butter, and two and a third cup of milk. So let's get started. So first you'll have to sift the flour and baking powder in a bowl, add the sugar, and then make a well in the center. So that's what I'm going to do. So I just added in the flour and baking powder in a bowl, then I'm going to have to add the sugar now, then make a well in the center. Then I'm going to have to add the eggs and melted butter and milk. I'm going to have to mix with a whisk, okay? That's what I'm going to have to do. So I've just finished mixing this, so what I have to do next is I have to brush the cupcake trays with melted butter, then fill the tray with cake mix by spooning it in. Then I'm gonna have to bake it for 12 minutes from 180 degrees centigrade. So that's what I'm gonna have to do, obviously. So I got these two muffin trays just in case. So what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be brushing these cupcake trays with this little brush. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to be brushing one just in case it is full. So right now I'm going to be scooping my donut hole mixture into the cupcake molds. Yeah, I'm gonna have to butter this as well. So I just finished filling in my cupcake trays. So all I have to do is bake in the oven for 12 minutes at 180 degrees centigrade. So I'm going to do that now. So while my donut hole mixture is in the oven, I'm going to sprinkle this cookie dough with the plain flour. So I'm going to open this now. I cannot really give you the amount that you're going to have to flour the surface until it's all coated. A little bit more. And you'll have to fill it in with your hands like this, like what I'm doing. And then you'll have to flour this as well. So yeah, let's start rolling. And you'll have to roll this until it gets about not too thin, just a quarter of an inch thick. So I just finished rolling out my dough and I have these cookie cutters here. I have these different shapes and sizes. I have this Christmas tree one, but I'm not really gonna use this Christmas tree one because it's not Christmas. The cookie cutters I'm thinking of using, this star, this plane, this Eiffel Tower, this crown, and this heart. So I'm gonna be cutting this into the cookie dough and then I will show you when it's all finished. So 
So I just finished cutting up these cookie cutters. That took a very long time to cut these cookie cutters and shape them like this. So what I am going to be doing now is, it says here, I've already melted the butter, sugar, maple syrup, honey, whisk the eggs, sift the flour, spices, and bike up soda. Mix all together, assemble a smooth dough, flatten and wrap and refrigerate for 30 to 40 minutes. I've already did that. So right now, I'll have to put these in the oven at 180 degrees centigrade for eight to 10 minutes. And I will be right back when these are all cooked. So I just took these donut holes out of the muffin trays. I gave them like an hour to cool so that they are not too hot. So these are definitely the right temperature and I might have accidentally overfilled them, which doesn't matter anyway because I'm still learning on how to tell on how much to fill them. It's because I haven't baked these donut holes in a very, very long time and I forgot how much to fill them. So if you guys know how much to fill them, then you can definitely give me the measurements on how much to fill them so I know for next time on how much to fill them. So on with the recipe. So I'm gonna be dipping this donut hole into my cinnamon sugar. I cannot really give you the amount on how much cinnamon sugar to give you but you have to put just as much on how much cinnamon sugar you need. So I'm gonna pop this in here. So I think I might just cut the top of this just a little bit more, just about like that. I'm not too sure if you guys can see this or not, but I definitely can. So I'm gonna be filling one more and then I'll be right back when they are all finished. And there we have it, donut holes. Aren't they are just beautiful with this beautiful um, cinnamon sugar on top? So I'm gonna be trying one right now. Mmm. Yummy. I love donut holes. Wow, these are the best donut holes ever. So guys, if you want to make these donut holes, the recipe will be down below. If you guys want to make some, for example, your birthday, Christmas, for pulling on all night on, for example, with your friends or your siblings. And yeah, so I just took my gingerbread cookies um, out of the tray. So they are right over there. So the ingredients you'll need to make the royal icing is you'll need one egg white, two cups of icing sugar, and one cup of hot water. And that's all you will need. So let's get started. So all you will need is you'll need to put in two cups of icing sugar into here. And you'll need to add in the egg white that is already separated. You'll have to slowly mix it in because if you put all of this in here, you'll get like a watery icing, which we don't want that. We want a nice smooth and glossy frosting. So I'm gonna mix this in first so it can be all incorporated. Just about that much. Oopsies, I might have accidentally put in too much in here, but don't worry, I'm gonna be adding in more of the icing sugar so it can be nice and glossy frosting. So I'll be right back. I'm back now, so I'm going to be slowly adding in this icing sugar so it can be all nice and glossy. 
Oh, that might be a bit too much, but we'll see if it's glossy enough. It's nearly there. I'm just going to have to add in a little bit more of the icing sugar and then I'm going to be like, I'm um, going to put them into four separate bowls. So there is no color mixing. A little bit more. This should be good. <laughs> I think we have the consistency that we wanted. So I think we are ready to color them. So I've got these four separate bowls here. See, four separate bowls here. And I'm gonna be putting this icing mixture into these four separate bowls. So I just put the icing into four separate bowls. So I'm going to be coloring them with these four different food colorings. I have green, I have blue, I have yellow, and I have red. So I think I might put in the red, but not too much. Otherwise, I don't know, get sort of like a bright red just a little bit like that and with the blue food coloring you're going to be adding in three or four drops one two three four and the same with the rest of them and once i have put the food coloring into four separate bowls you're going to have to mix them so that's what i'm going to be doing you're going to have to mix them with four separate spoons so you don't get any color mixing so I just colored all of these icings with the food coloring. So what you'll need to do is you need to put them into piping bags like this. If you have a piping bag, then you can definitely use this. But I'm going to be showing you how I put these icings into a piping tip, into a piping bag, sorry. You'll get this bag and you'll have to like cup it in your hand like this. So I just get this spoon out of the way. So I'm gonna cup this in my hand like this and you'll need to pop this in here. Some of it might have dropped on the floor. This was an epic fail. Don't try it with this because this will make a mess everywhere. So don't try this, please. Even if you are a child or an adult or even my age, don't try it. So let's restart again. I'm gonna try and pop this icing into here. I don't know why I call it a frosting because that is just me. And once you get it into here, then you'll just have to rest it like that. And then I should be right back when all of this is finished. And there we have it. The gingerbread cookies are all complete. And again, that also took a very, very long time. But I think I did pretty well. So I couldn't just like um, have a taste. So why not I have a taste? And see if I give it two thumbs up or I give it a thumbs down. So let's try it. Mm -hmm. My favorite gingerbread cookies with royal icing. I might just take one more bite, then I should be able to stop right there because I don't want you guys to watch me eat and talk at the same time. I think I might stop right there. I just might grab the plate here and pop it over here. So the next thing I will also want to make that will keep me awake is a cup of hot chocolate. So I'll be right back when I got all of the ingredients organized. So right now, what I'm thinking of making to keep me awake 
is a drink. So I've chosen to make this um, hot chocolate. So the hot chocolate will definitely keep me awake. So here is the ingredients for the hot cocoa. So the ingredients here I have is half a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, half a cup of sugar, quarter of a teaspoon of salt, four cups of milk with a third of a cup of heavy cream, and the half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So let's get started. So what it says in the method, it says in a small bowl, you'll have to whisk together the cocoa powder, sugar and salt until it's well combined. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to place this into here with a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Now I'm just whisking this with this because my whisk that I used that you saw earlier is in the dishwasher so I'm going to be replacing the whisk for this because this is the only one I have now and so yeah I think that is all ready now so I'm going to place them right over here and then I'm going to show you the next step so what it says on the method now it says in a pot heat the milk heavy cream which I've already done I put the heavy cream in there already so I don't need to worry about that so you're gonna have to add the vanilla in there over high heat and then add in your cocoa mixture whisking until it's well combined so yeah that's all I needed to do I think I might put the vanilla extract in first and my cocoa mixture as well, better not forget about that. Then I'm gonna whisk it until it's well combined. Now I think I should be right back when this is all finished. So right after the hot cocoa is all nice and hot, I'm gonna give it one last whisk before I strain it. So yeah, once all of this hot chocolate is nice and hot, then you'll have to um, strain it. I mean, not actually um, strain it, but just pour it into a jar and a mug, and then I will be right back to show you once it's all in a jar and in a mug. And there we have it, hot chocolate that is homemade. So I already have my hot chocolate in a jar over there, but you'll have to leave the jar somewhere like over there to cool right before you put it in the fridge is because if you put it in the fridge right away, then the fridge will warm up and you don't want that. You want the fridge to stay cold. So to avoid that, just keep the jar at room temperature until it's cooled down and then you can place it in the fridge. So yeah, cheers! Yummy! I give this hot chocolate two thumbs up. So what I'm thinking of doing right now is I'm thinking of doing some editing and then I'm thinking of maybe watching a movie and then I'll be right back once I've finished editing and watching my movie. So I'm back now and while I was watching my movie I got so exhausted and I got so sleepy and I just fell asleep and you know what today is today is my birthday and have a look what I have here hey it's my boyfriend Alex nice to see you so as you guys know today is my birthday which is October the 7th which is today and I just turned 24 years old and I guess we're going to start the um celebrating my 24th birthday vlog so let's get straight into it so I just got all of my presents here and I'm going to be wrapping it all up I mean unwrapping it all up and I'm going to see what I got for my birthday so I have my sister right over here hi and my dad right behind the camera and my mom as well you can say hi Hello. <laughs> so i'm going to be unwrapping my presents now on what i got for my birthday 
Alex is here too. Who gave you that present? Linda, Linda, Linda. Or maybe actually. I got a $50 note. Woo! Woo! To Serena, wishing you a very happy 24th birthday. Hope you'll, hope you'll have a wonderful day. Love from Zach, Jenny, Jazz, Michael and Alex. Oh, nice. Thank you very much. Wow! Yeah! yeah. It looks like I have I have two mugs. Oh well, let's see. Oh, oh they're so pretty. Oh, Lulu and Daisy. Cute. Very sweet. Very cute. Same card that I got last year. <laughs> Is it? Dear Serena, ha happy birthday. You are such a special kind and funny woman. We can't wait to watch you grow because grow, become more independent and love your life. Like there's no tomorrow. Whenever you feel like you can't do something, Remember to tell yourself, yes, I can. We love you so much. Mum, Dad, Louisa, Alice, and Betty. Meow. <laughs> you like the meow? Good meow. Looks like some costume shoes. <laughs> Woohoo! New pair of boots. I got new pair of boots. They look amazing. Your favourite. Mm. I think they're your size too, yeah? And they are for every day? Every day. Whenever you want. Any day. You want. Whenever you want. And they will last you a very long time. We hope so, if you look after them. Yes. Yeah. They will get wow. stuffed really easy. Yay. And I have the final last present, which is from my man who is behind the camera. Yep, that's me. Dear my girlfriend Serena, I wish you a happy 24th birthday, have a great day and I'm sorry I haven't got your TAPS lottery ticket yet because they are closed for the moment but I will get, get it for you when they reopen so it will be coming late when I buy I give to you for your birthday. I give you I give to you for your late birthday present. When we watch Mr. Dean's holiday, he's a nothing on holiday because <laughs> he forgets everything. <laughs> And when we watch Johnny English Reborn, he tries to get the old Chinese lady and he got the wrong old lady. So let's hope our relationship works. Not from your boyfriend, Alex. <laughs> that was such a funny card that you wrote down. <laughs>
I got these little pills. Then I got um even I went off though. Try me. Try me. What does it do? Try me. Oh, fantastic. Oh, that's 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 everybody. Chin chin cheers, Bella. Want to do cheers? Chin cheers, cheers everybody. No, that's Alex's. That's Alex's. That's yours? Over yours there, sorry. Is over there. Oh, okay, got... everybody do cheers. 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 It's a collectible, Serena. Mm -hmm. I know. You can, can add, say it your, add it to your collections. Yeah. Oh, that's very good. I got better shoes than the other ones that I have. Right? Yep, you do have it. Are you still filming? Yeah, I'm still filming. Okay. His necklace looks pretty nice. Yep. Okay. I won't pop this on just yet. <laughs> but I'm gonna get these other presents. Okay. Very sweet. Very, very cute. Do you like your pussy cat? Pussy cat? I have to pop these in the dishwasher. It's because um, I just bought them up. to place this. I think I might place this here where my tiaras are. Fits perfectly. Are you guys ready to do the cake yet? Help me get the money jar from there. You hold it. Thank you. Okay, so you can place money in there. Sorry. Pop it back in there.
help me with my necklace? Okay. Yeah, you can just. Alright, do you want to tell us what you're doing? Well, keep the knife straight. Yep, perfect. Okay. Nice, and then you can do the next one. Okay. And actually, do we have a. Um... We need, Mum, are you able to grab us the cake tray? Like a, not tray. Serving plate? The um, bit that goes at the bottom. What's it called? Mm. The board, cake board. Just wait one second, Serena, because we're going to get the cake board. Mm. All right. Um, we're just going to wait for the cake board. I'll just stop. So am I popping up this whole thing? Yeah. Do you reckon I should cut just a bit more, that's it? I think that's pretty good. Just cut it just a little bit more. Yeah, I think that should be it. Cool. Do I put in this much? Yep. Do I put this in? Um, all right, so Alex is going to do this next bit. Hi, Alex. Hi. Just going to put this whipped cream in. Yeah, maybe we don't need all of it. So maybe half of it. Yep, half of it. And we'll see how we go. Yeah. Or oh, maybe get going, I reckon. Beautiful. And now you can start whipping. We've just got to turn the power on because I haven't turned it on. Okay, turn the power on. Yep. Beautiful. Serena, maybe you should get some icing sugar so we can add it to the cream. And you can go faster if you like to. Yeah, so there you go. So we've got Alex whipping the cream. We've got the cakes, the 
here ready we've got the icing sugar do you want to maybe grab a spoon and just spoon them in spoon the sugar in we've got the chocolate ganache yum just get a spoon Serena so you can do a little bit at a time maybe because you don't want it to be too sweet like I think that's probably enough yeah
guys remember what's in there? Do you want to tell me what ingredients are in the in the cream? Um, chocolate melts, um, Bailey's, and cocoa powder. And what else? What was the most important part that Alex you were doing? Um, putting the cream. And, that's right. And okay. icing flour. And icing sugar. That's right. Icing sugar. Yep. Everyone who's watching at home, um, this is the screenshot of the cake that we are making. It's from The Sims, and if you can see over here, I don't know if, it's, if my phone's going to focus, the cake in the corner there, um, it's got a very thick layer of icing in the middle, so that's what we're trying to achieve here. Um, what do you think, Serena? Yeah. Is it quite thick enough yet? I think we need a little bit more. Yeah. So when you cut into it, you can see that layer of chocolate in the middle. Yeah, just like what Louisa is saying. Yeah, that's what we're trying to go for. Nice. Um, I got really excited the other day, Serena, because I was talking to Mel about how you wanted cake from The Sims. Yeah. And she told me that somebody made a Sims cookbook of all the recipes on The Sims. They made a, a cookbook. I tried to look and see if I could buy it for you, but I don't think it's, it exists. Pop this on. Yep. Pop it on top. Yeah. Make sure it's nice and straight. As I can see, it's a little bit wonky there. Yep. Yeah. We're filming, yeah. Should we pause for an ad break so that Mum can t tell us what she needs to tell us? Yeah. All right. Pause for an ad break. Alright, Serena, do you want to tell us what you've decided to do? Or do you want me? Or we don't want to talk about it. Maybe we don't want to talk about it. We're basically just putting the, the rest of the icing on the outside of the cake. Yeah. Because our cake recipe that we've got is a little bit darker. It's kind of like the reverse. So this cake is like kind of light brown with dark brown icing. And we've gone the opposite, so we've got a dark brown cake with light brown icing. So we're just trying to make it look as similar as we can. Maybe you should get the sides too. And this is where the lazy Susan comes in handy. Alex, yeah. if you lift up the cake board, lift up this cake and put it on here. Yep, all right. I'll... So that Serena can spin it around. There you go. Voila. I don't usually um, use this spin table. It's very handy though, isn't it? Yeah. It makes it, things a little bit easier. I do like it, but I just don't usually use the spin board. Yeah, the uh, Lazy Susan. Nice. I was gonna suggest Careful. That's alright, we can scrape it up. 
I have accidentally got it on the spin board. I'll clean that up later. Bless you. Thank you. You got Corona, Alex. No, no COVID. <laughs> Just the sneeze. Just the sneeze. Go for it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Is it a bit too thick, do you think? Or do you think? Heat it back up again, or is it all right? We just had that sitting in the cake pan with some ice to help cool it down. This round tip. Hold it up to the camera. This round tip. Yep. Cool. And where does this go to? Um, oh, low power mode. Um, putting it in here. Mm -hmm. So Serena, mm -hmm. when you edit your videos for your channel, do you edit them on your phone or on your computer? Computer. Oh, nice. How long does it take you to edit one video? Sometimes it takes a while and sometimes it takes longer. Oh, really? How long is a while and how long is longer? Well, this is going to be a pretty long video. So you reckon it'll take you a few hours or a few days? Take me like maybe an um, hour. That's not too bad. Alright, let's fill the piping bag, or the piping cylinder, with ash, shall we? Alright, we've got the cylinder. Serena's got the ganache. Okay. Is it easier if you hold the cylinder? Or do you want me to hold it? Yeah, I think this is, I think this is gonna be a bit hard, and I'm gonna make it a bit messy. All right, Alex, do you want to fill? You can fill. All right, let's go. I oh, know this is always the hard bit. But I like to just let it drop in like that. I try doing it like that, but it's hard. That's okay. Because it's a bit too runny and I can't get in there properly. Yeah, and you've got to be quick too because it falls, it starts to drip quickly. Alright, I reckon that's enough. There we go. It's like a needle, isn't it? Hey! Are you going to do the bottom first? Well, actually, we should be filming on the other side. Do you like filming, Alex? Yeah. Yeah? All right. If you don't want to, you let me know and I'll do it. It's okay. I don't mind. Oh, that looks great. Let me move it closer to 
to just stop for a second so I can move it closer. There you go. detail now that you've got the detail you just go like that and I'll yep. just carefully smooth it over the edge so I don't lose its shape yeah perfect I'm just going to carefully move it up the edges here so chocolatey I might save some extra just so that you can do the bottom as well. Alex, do you want to lick some whipped cream? Okay, no worries. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Whipped cream. Here, we'll do it in the video. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm -hmm. You gonna have some? No whipped cream. Okay. I don't want some. I'm having it in. Are these so, the sprinkles we're gonna put on top? Do you want me to show you the cake again? No, I know what the sprinkles, the sprinkles are usually with these. Ah, okay, cool. Like in the picture. Yep. Nice. Because I wanna copy the Sims cake. Yep. 
You know what we should listen to? Hold on. Sims 3 and The Sims 4 and that's it. Yep, that's it. Have you did number did you play The Sims 2? I played The Sims 1, I played The Sims 2, I played The Sims 3, and I played The Sims 4. Okay. I played pretty much all of them. So you played all of them? Yes. Alright, here we go. This is our favourite. Mm. That's from The Sims 2. Yeah, that's okay. Actually, I'll turn the light on. Yeah. Alright. See. Come on over. Mm. Come here. Yep, come here. Alright. Yeah. So we've got we've got lime juice cordial. That might be good to take. So we'll take that. Um, I don't know, do you like coffee flavoured um, mm -hmm. drinks? No. No? Alright. Maybe peach iced tea? 
Mm, that could be nice. We've got bitters, so we can make like a lemon lime and bitters. That yeah. could be good. Um, oh, we'll, we'll take the cherries, the maraschino cherries. Yeah. Get you to hold on to those. Yep. Yeah. We've got rose syrup, which I love. Oh, yours, your syrup, eh? Rose, rose syrup. <laughs> um, all right, that sounds good for now. And then we'll see what else I've got. Well, they've actually um, speak in Sims language. They say like this. So, so, thank, thank. What happened? Ah, just my battery, it's okay. We've got all the straws and the stirrers that we can choose from. Yep. Okay. Should we turn it off, Serena? I'm nearly ready. And nearly done. Once I'm done, I'm going to have a bit of a break from filming. Okay, that sounds like a good plan. Dinner. 
So guys, we are back from our break now and for dinner, we're going to be making a low calorie chicken and corn chowder from Dinnerly. Sounds so good. if you guys don't know what Dinnerly is, Dinnerly is a app where you can choose your own recipes and they deliver to your door with all of the vegetables as they are in the box. So what we have here, we have two corn panels, um, we have half a cup of milk and two tablespoons of plain flour. So yeah, let's get cooking. I have a funny feeling it wasn't filming before. So I'm just going to explain again just in case. So Serena is peeling the potatoes, Alex is peeling the carrot, thank you Alex, it looks okay. great. Okay. Um, so once you guys have finished peeling, the next step is to cut the potato and the carrot into two centimeter chunks. Yeah. So two meters chunk. Two centimeters, so maybe like this big. Yeah. That big. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And Alex is going to be cutting the carrot for us today. Nice. Thank you. And just so you hear it, Serena, there's a what's there. Nice work. All right, well done, Alex. Thank if you. you're ready for the next step, you yeah. can come over here by the kettle. And if you just have a look, if you just fill it up to two cups with the water, the hot water from the kettle. All right, I'll do that then. I think it's already hot because I boiled it not long ago, so you can just pour it straight in. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Go for it. And you can pour that into the jug on the other side. There we go. Great job. And now we just need one more cup of hot boiling water. So yeah. if you see where it says mm -hmm. one cup, does it say one cup just here? Yeah. You just fill it up again, one more. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yep. Great, and then you can pour that in there too. 
Serena's yeah. finished chopping the onions, spring onions, beautiful. And then if you want, you can use this <coughs> just to stir it, just to stir it yep. so it all dissolves. What are we doing now? Tell me. You have to heat one tablespoon of olive oil in a medium saucepan over medium heat. Cook the carrots and potatoes, stirring occasionally for two to three minutes until starting to soften. Cool. Let's do it. Go. Give it a stir. One last stir before you add the flour. Yep. And now go for it. The floor needs to stop. I know. Once it's 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 once it's it's stop, once it's stop, it'll um soften up. for two minutes here. It's been 30 seconds. So keep going. And then Alex, you can help Serena by adding the chicken stock in a minute. Yeah. And while she's still stirring, you can add the stock. Yeah. Alright, it's been one minute. One more minute of stirring there, Serena. Oh yeah, that makes lots of people sneeze. And Alex isn't allowed to um, taste pepper or smell pepper. Well then, we should just put salt. Yeah. Who's who's going to put the salt? Alex. Do you want to do the salt, Alex? So it's salt. It's just here in that little jar with the spoon. Yep. Maybe put one spoon of salt. Beautiful. And 
Should we get into the spoons now? Yeah. Spoon. Have a little taste and tell us if it needs more salt. Have a taste, Alex. Let Alex have a taste. What do you guys think? More salt? I'll give it one more try because I didn't do a proper try. Might need a tiny, tiny bit more salt. Alright, Alex, there we go. Not too much. That's perfect, you think? Maybe a bit less. That'll be fine. Cool. Well done. Film ya. Okay. Alex is going to put the chicken in and just maybe gently put it in because it might splash. Here you go. If you want to just gently use the, yeah. use this, yeah. Beautiful. And just give it a bit of a stir. Yep. Excellent. Make sure it's all covered. And then we'll put the wood leave it here for about 10 minutes. All right, tell us what you're doing. I'm draining the corns in the pot here. Nice. Mm. How beautiful and yellow it is. Happy birthday to you. 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 Happy birthday to you.
Happy birthday, dear Serena. Happy birthday to you. Hooray! 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 Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Thank you. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right. Should we eat some cake? Yes. We shall. Let's eat some cake. We shall eat some cake. Who wants cake? I'm right for cake too. And I think that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and comment down below if you guys want me to film more of the pulling on all nighter and not just the night before my birthday and celebrating my birthday vlog at the same time. So if you guys like this video, always and remember to like and subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video and I will definitely see you guys next time. See ya!